Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be styling my kitchen and dining area. Starting off with my island, I'm using this olive jar that I picked up from Home Goods. You guys have seen me use this on my channel before. I love it. I really wanted to make kind of a dramatic statement with some stems. So I'm using two that I got from Magnolia and these are super realistic looking and I love the color green and it only took two of them and because they're so tall, they gave me that oversized dramatic look that I was going for. And then I wanted to add some fruit just to make it look a little lived in. Plus in my house, we actually do eat pears. So I found these beautiful pears at the grocery store and I added them to this little bowl that I have from McGee & Co. And then I just finished it off with a candle. I wanted to keep this look pretty simple and I wanted the stems to be the centerpiece of the island. My island is where I do most of my cooking. So I like to keep my cutting board out and accessible. I got mine from Crate and Barrel a couple years ago and when I bought it, the lady who sold it to me actually told me that I should use a mineral oil on it. So I just get mine from Amazon, it's like $8 and I do it once every two weeks and I will say it really has helped with the longevity of my cutting board and it does bring it back to life. So just wanted to share that little tip with you guys. We are replacing the bar stools on our kitchen island and the ones that I am using today are from Nathan James. They were kind enough to gift me a set and I have been shopping with Nathan James for years. I actually own a lot of their furniture pieces in my house that I have purchased with my own money. So when they said they were willing to work with me, I was very excited. The bar stools that I chose were the faux leather woven counter bar stools and I picked the color warm pine and brush light brown. I wanted something that was gonna pop. My kitchen is very white, so I wanted something that would stand out but still keep it very warm. And the color of these cushions on these bar stools, you guys, is so good. Like when it comes to brown, sometimes it's a little bit iffy, but these are almost a little more on the taupe side, which I was very happy with. So I also love the woven backs to these ones. It just adds so much texture and it's just exactly what my kitchen needed. The bar stools that I had in here prior did not have backs to them. So I wanted something that was a little more sturdy just because I have two young boys and these were perfect. So they were very simple and easy to put together. My husband was there to slightly assist with me, but I did do these on my own and it took us less than like an hour to put them together. So they were super easy and I just love how it transformed my kitchen. So if you're not familiar with them, definitely check them out. They have so many beautiful furniture pieces. I will have their website listed down below and then I will also have my specific bar stools that I chose listed down below in the description box as well. Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you. Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love, let me love. Baby, let me love you. Just say the word and we can leave this place. I'll take you anywhere you want. Baby, let me love you.
switching over to my countertops, I took everything off, cleaned them, and wanted to just start fresh. But before I get into the decor, I wanna talk about these lights. So we've been wanting lights under our cabinets for so long, but we just don't have the time to hardwire lights. So I took a little bit more of a quicker, more frugal route, and I found these lights on Amazon. They got really good reviews. They are rechargeable, so I liked that they were not battery operated. And they're motion sensor too. And all I had to do, each box came with two, and I bought two boxes, so four lights total. They come in different sizes, and I think I got the longest ones. But of course, I will have all this listed down below. But they are motion censored. You just take the adhesive off the back and stick them wherever you want to put them. They're very flush, so you could not see them in our kitchen, which was very important to me. I did not want them to be visible at all. They were so simple, and the motion sensor on them works really well. They give off a ton of light. I'm just so happy with them. I cannot say enough good things. I love the look that it gave my kitchen. Like I said, it comes in two different lights as, or like two different like light options. There's a really stark white or there's a warm and I picked the warm. Very happy with it. I'm just obsessed. Like, and it was same day shipping. So I got them within like hours. Like you just can't beat it. So you guys will have to check it out. If you're looking to add some lights to your kitchen, this is a great option. Now for the decor, I'm starting off with my breadboards. The first one is from McGee & Co. And the second round one is from Magnolia. I just added two cookbooks next to my stove. When I was in Home Goods the other day, I saw this vase and I was really drawn to it because I loved the size and the shape of it. It was only $19.99, so I picked it up and just planned on painting it. I went to Home Depot and picked up some spray paint in the color Warm Caramel and I just did a couple layers of that, just sprayed it all down. But once I let it dry and I put it back in my kitchen, the color was just a little bit too red for me. It just did not match with anything in my kitchen at all. So I decided to switch it up and went back to Walmart and picked up some chalk paint in the color Hazelnut. And I just painted a couple layers of that and then I just loved the way that it came out. I added some German status and I think it just looked so cute. I try to keep my countertops pretty simple. I don't like a lot of clutter, but I do keep my coffee essentials over on the other side. So for my coffee beans, I use these canisters that I got from Zara Home a couple years ago. I really love the look of them. I will try my best to link them down below, but if I cannot find them, I will link some similar. This light switch is kind of an eyesore to me, so I wanted to cover it up. So I used this frame that I got from Home Goods and just added a print that I downloaded from Etsy. And then for the corner, I'm just adding this little candle holder that I picked up from Target. I'm not sure where I got this candle from, but over where I keep my rings when I do dishes, I put it in this little fluted bowl that I got from Magnolia. And then on the other side of my oven, I'm going in with my pitcher that I use for my utensils that I got from Amazon. I've talked about it before. I love it. I don't plan on switching it out anytime soon. And then I just went in with my olive oil and vinegar and my little trinket dish that holds my garlic. Over near my sink area, I added this riser that houses my hand and dish soap. And then this vase is from McGee & Co. and I just added some Cosmos from Hobby Lobby. Moving over to my dining table, I'm using this vase that I recently picked up from Home Goods. I talked about it in my last decor haul. And when I was at World Market, I saw these beautiful magnolia stems. They're in like a beautiful cream color. I love that they weren't super white. They're just like the perfect shade of cream. And I love the brown and the cream together. So I picked up four of those and added those to the vase. How come the stars come to shine? It's dark from so far away, show us where we are. 
And then I added my usual brass pepper mills and this candle. I love this candle. I got it from Target. It's in like a beautiful chocolate brown and it smells so good. I also picked up this call it home book when I was at Home Goods, and the pictures in this book are so beautiful. I see a lot of designers setting books on the dining table to give it more of a lived in feel. So I just flipped the pages to find one that matched the current decor and just left it open on the table. And I loved the look of it. I was very happy with how everything came out. I liked the overall look of my kitchen. I love everything. Thank you again, Nathan James, because they really transformed my kitchen with these beautiful bar stools. And yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you think of everything. Don't forget to comment down below on what your favorite pieces are. And thanks again for watching, and I will see you in my next video. And don't they miss the leaves they left behind? Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes